Okay, we're back with another Dragon Champions video. And a couple things. Uh, it's been a week since my last um, video where we were prepping for the Ember event. And the Ember event has just arrived. But before I get into that, I um, just wanted to do a quick blurb on the patch that also came through um, just prior to the event. And really you can read through um, a lot of the changes they mentioned that they are still working on building artifacts into this game and battlegrounds those that play a lot of these types of games uh, these are common components in some of the rpgs out there um, you know my view on artifacts are that they're great but um, again, another way to separate perhaps your free-to-play players, maybe your uh, dolphins from your whales. Um, but it is what it is. You have to monetize the game somehow. I am kind of excited how Battlegrounds is going to work. But there's a lot to unpack here in the patch. Just real quick, um, they're changing some of the formulas with the tower. Uh, so you are pretty much not going to see a lot of mirror teams. That could help with um, hard tower mode, but for myself, because I'd have to beat hard tower mode, I think another 85 plus times, um, as I'm building my character base, it just doesn't seem worth it to me to, um, to kind of risk not getting all the way up the tower as opposed to me just autoing my... Uh, normal run. Nice little perk here, changing the gold chest drop chance on the 500k. Um, they're adding a new chapter to the runic journey um, where you can get three star runes. Again, most of us are just going through the motions with those runes because we have the uh, blue runes as a minimum, uh, if not our epic runes. But for those of you that are still building your rune kit, really a nice little perk there. Uh, here's one, a couple other things with registration. You can register for your guild rate in advance and um, choose the start time. It's really good for our guilds, including uh, the one I'm in, where we are in different time zones. So maybe setting when the raid starts automatically uh, would be nice. And then, um, you know, some of these other things where you don't have to qualify for a tournament anymore. You just register for it. That's nice. I'm going to test it out in a second. Uh, it seemed kind of silly just to um, quickly kind of kill five very easy targets just to get placed in um, a certain bracket. Cooldown for raid rewards. Um... Really, you can't get another another reward without claiming your other one. I think that's just people hoarding rewards in their mailbox. Um, and then it's just a, some kind of hint as to a new hero, another um, pride healer, which is interesting given that you already have Renara as your pride healer. So uh, we'll see what happens there. Um, and a couple uh, kind of quick tweaks. So um, tournament, if you look, uh, now you have a join. I don't even know what it means. Registration, please register. So click. Um, okay, and I guess you just have to pick your party. I need to make sure I have Darien, a Goblin, an Orc, and whatnot, and then you can register. So, um, hmm, kind of interesting. Um, at least you looks like you don't have to do that obligatory fight. So let's just um, go through the motions here and throw a few guys in here. Uh, what I normally do is my core team as much as possible. Looks like I just have to fit Darien and a um, 
daring and a goblin in here, so let's just throw. Uh, let's just throw her in here and see how the tournament ends up. For most of us, we the tournaments have become a little bit of a joke, if you will, um, where you register and you don't really try. There's not a lot of bracket movement. You know the ones that are the whales are going to get all the way up in there if you get lucky um, and you just get put in a very weak bracket late. Um, you could kind of sneak in some really nice rewards. But uh, there you have it. I'm going to keep this video relatively short. I'm going to make a completely separate video right after this where I will attempt to unlock Ember because I have personally not unlocked her yet. So uh, stay tuned. Looks like one of my guildies has uh, upped them to seven stars and gear 11. So better for my guild. Um, and I will be back with another video. So I just wanted to do a quick patch video and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks.